Dog sledding in the summertime is something that we came up with about six years ago, and it was just to get the dogs some exercise. Uh, a common misconception is that huskies are cold weather dogs only, but really they just need the exercise. Things that we've seen since, uh, since doing the summer operation is our vet bills have gone down because the dogs are healthier. We take some t extra time in the river where they get to lay down in the cold water, and uh, we just keep an eye on them, make sure that they're always hydrated. It's pretty obvious that they want to run uh, when you start hooking them up to the lines. Um, you'll see they, they start screaming at the top of their lungs, banging at the lines, and then when you actually release the brake and start moving, they, they dig in their feet and they actually shut up for the first time and, and, and they, they tear out of this yard like crazy. Well, we have two different activities up here. We have uh, the dog scooters, which are a very high adventure activity. It is an incredible amount of fun, but it is a gutsy activity. You need some guts for this. Uh, we give you helmet, knee pads, and gloves for a reason. And then for families, uh, we basically just hook up a, a giant dog team to an old golf cart. And uh, it's the wildest golf cart ride you'll ever have. We get it up to about 30 miles an hour with dogs pulling it. The first half of the trip is uh, we, we introduce you to the kennel. We walk you around, you get to play and get covered in a bunch of muddy paw prints. And so we'll go around and we'll teach you how we breed them, train them, and then uh, we play with the puppies and you, you get to meet all your dogs. And then after that, um, then we, we take you on a ride. What we usually do for guests that, that are thinking about the scooters is we tell them how much fun it is and then we try and talk them out of it a little bit. You know, you're, you're on a scooter, it's not that hard to balance, but it does require guts. We, we teach you how to use the scooters, we have a checklist of certain skills that you have to have before you leave. We set you up to succeed. Guests that come out and do the scooters um, often come back another day. Perfect. It's, a, it's an awesome activity, it's a ton of fun, but it does take some guts. Um, reservations are required um, for all of our trips out here and uh, the best way to get a reservation is just call 970-453-PULL and you can also check out our website at snowcapsleddogs.com. We have an invention here that was created here at the dog yard. Uh, it's called the tug and tow and uh, it's built to keep the line out of your tire when you're biking with your dog. Um, it was originally created so we could do the scooters and so that what the tug and tow allows you to do is take your dog for a bike ride. They can run along while you ride your bike and now you're more evenly matched and you can get your dog, you know, miles and miles of exercise, you know, before they wear you out. And so it's basically a, a retracto leash for your bike that's built really tough so it can handle the loads, so it can handle, you know, running with your dog. You can find it at snowcapsleddogs.com and we have a lot of YouTube videos and stuff that'll really teach you about the device and uh, see if it's for you. Our dogs, um, we start training them to run at about eight months and they're working full time by the time they're a year old. Uh, when they turn eight years old, we start looking for a home for them. And we actually have a very uh, great adoption program up here. A lot of guests that come out bring home the ultimate Breckenridge souvenir, which is a sled dog. And we communicate on Facebook and we keep track of the dogs. You know, if you move or family problems or anything goes wrong and, and you need to give up the dog, they can come home to here. If they don't find a home, what we do is we actually unhook them and they get to be a sheriff of the yard. They wander around the yard and they get to sniff everything and, and check on everybody and it's a good retirement. They're just like little, they're like an incarn incarnation of a, of a live teddy bear. Uh, they're a lot of fun to play with, they're really cute and they're actually the worst guard dogs you'll ever find. It's, it's a neat thing to be able to do something as an adult that you have a lot of childhood memories doing. It's really fun to, to be in your hometown doing your family business and. Uh, and you know, be dirty every day.